We've got team from four walkout lunge twists. So two on each side. Nothing allow that back knee to relax on the floor. Other side cat. 50-50 chance. <laughs> <laughs> then into eight Samson stretch team. Sierra, you look like super slim. Yeah, legit. Because I've not seen you in a little while. I see a wee difference in you. Like, not that obviously you needed to change in any way. I loved you as you were. But just, you know. I feel like a little chunk. Really? You don't look like one. I've not seen you in, what, two weeks? And I've just looked at you and be like, shit, where's Sarah went? You've been like twice a day. Yeah, look, us. yeah. You've been, yeah. yeah. Nothing else to do. And I did literally do about 13 to 20 times Well, I see a difference in you. So just so you know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the plan, but we. I cut for a Thursday. More <laughs> <Or> cake. <laughs> Good job, guys. So after your eight Samson stretch, eight Cossack squats, so four on each side. Alex. <laughs> Maybe we could do a Zwift. Good job. And then into eight sumo deadlifts. He's like, no, no. Yeah, he's like, no, I want to do five of them. Okay. Nice. Yeah, Paul, how's your back? Not very good. No. Not very good, Matt. Yeah, just chop your right hip off, you'll be fine. Good plan. Uh, it's, it's constantly bothering us, mate, constantly. Yeah. How much mobility and stretching are you doing slash yoga? None. <laughs> Good man. Well, we have yoga tonight at 7.30 if you would like a late session. Bring the whole thing. You'll get half seven tonight. Well, I've always been meaning to just to do it, but I just kind of keep getting tied up doing other things with them and that. The last thing, like, especially at night, if you've got a family, it's hard because obviously <laughs> dinner and all that stuff kicks in and then you just chill and... You kind of forget about it. 100%. <laughs> Is your, your wife, should she still be at work, eh? Working at the NHS. <laughs> She's uh, on the leave for, uh, for a week off just now. But. Okay. Yeah, so normally if you're oh, you're in the house with the kids all, all day, you get a catch up at night. Don't want me doing yeah. yoga tonight. Good job, guys. Okay, relax there. I'm in the wrong place. Okie dokie. So my wonderful assistant is going to show you through these. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be 12 static lunch today. So instead of our step ups, Driving through, we're going to go into static lunge. With a weight? With a weight, if you can. So static lunge, exactly what it is. You'll step forward with one foot. Good. You'll keep your foot planted, though, static. Yep, so from there, you'll then go all the way down, making sure you have a 90 degree angle in the front and back leg. <laughs> I'm new to this. Yeah, take a bigger step. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so your, hip, your hips are going directly down. They're not going forward. Making sure that front knee is tracking over, over your big toe, yeah? So be quite mi mindful of where your knee's at on this one. You will do 12 on one leg. You will then swap legs. And you will do 12 on the other. Yeah, making sure we're driving through the heel of the front foot, not the toe. 
So we'll get a little bit more glute activation. Then we will go into 12 hip raise. So if you have a box or bench or whatnot, your shoulder blades will be on the, on the box. Okay, and then from there, driving the hips to the ceiling, hold it for a second or two, and then back down. Yeah, keeping your spine nice and neutral. So you see Shelly's uh, head is just going with her torso. She's not constantly keeping it up off the deck. Yeah, if you guys don't have a stable platform, you can do it on the ground. Exactly the same, feet hip width apart, driving your hips to the ceiling. If you've got tight hip flexors, you'll know all about it. <laughs> Okay, again, just holding it there for a second or two, making sure you get that squeeze through your glutes. Oh, it is. Then we're going into 12 stiff leg deadlifts. So now we're going back to our normal deadlift stance, so feet hip width apart. You will then have a slight bend in your knees, lock them in place, and then you will drive that bum back, keeping your shoulders back as well. And you'll see Shelly's range is quite short. She's not going all the way to the floor. So her hands are essentially about knee or just past her knees. You guys will do 12 of them. Making sure you squeeze at the top, feel extension. Lovely, jubbly. If you're not feeling it too much in your hamstrings, generally you'll probably bend your knees too much. Yeah? YZ, see how you feel. Maybe take it a little bit easier. Maybe go lighter for that one. Then we're going into crab walk. So if you have a band, if you have a band, throw it around your knees. If not, don't worry about it. The main thing here is you're in basically a partial squat. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to partial squat here. Then you're essentially going to step to the right. If you've got space, you'll do all 12 to one side, then all 12 on the way back. If you're limited for space, you essentially just do one step right, one step left, one step right, one step left. Hands are optional. <laughs> Okay, so with this one, try and really focus again on keeping that knee stacked over the foot, try not to let it cave in. Yeah, so driving that knee out so we get some glute activation even more so. Yeah? Hey okay, guys, any questions? Nope, sweet. So let's go through a couple of reps of everything. A couple of static lunges on each side, a couple of hip raise, a couple of stiff leg deadlifts, and a couple of crab walks to make sure we are feeling it in the outside of the butt cheeks and potentially into your quads a little bit. <clears throat> you can hold your weight any way you want. You can hold it in your chest, you can front rack it, you can have it by your side. Totally up to you guys. Don't do it, Ben. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I'm Ben just going. <laughs> Dress Ben up as Daredevil Cat instead of Hulk. <laughs> Good job. So, Stu, you want to be a little more, uh, a little bit deeper in your, in your squat. That's it. And then. So, as soon as you go a little bit deeper, you'll feel more in your butt. Awesome, guys. Happy days. Got your picture, Wisey. You need it. Two seconds, mate. We're at it now. I did get one, but I never got the the reps. So twelve. Okay, cool. Twelve's well, everything, mate. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> okay, team. <clears throat> so as always, we're going to give you sixty minutes. Take your time. Make sure you take a minute or so rest in between each round. If you guys have any questions, give them a shout. Or if you need us to just check your technique, just wave frantically. First one's one.
Ten seconds. Two, one, let's go 12 static lunge on each side. So all 12 on one leg first. Yeah, same. One leg, that's good. Good job, guys. Then you're into 12 hip raise. So again, pause at the top for a couple of seconds. Then I'll be back down. Time is she gonna come out for? Yeah, I need to wake her up, but yeah. Drop her a message, she might read it on time. Nice work, guys. And into your 12 stiff leg deadlifts. Good job, team. Focus on keeping them shoulder blades back. Nice one, team. Then it's into 12 crab walk on each leg. Next week is curtsy lunges. Arriba. The answer machine. Yeah. You should actually leave a message at this point. Good job, guys. So once they're on a crab walk, take a minute rest. There's plenty of time, really three and a half minutes gone. Ah, this explains the broken leg. <laughs> Slash 10 trips to A&E. <laughs> Good job, team. So that is about a minute rest. If you guys feel ready, let's start in a second. Yeah, he doesn't hold back at all. Here, Ben, you know that's not water on there, right? <laughs> that is legit hard ground. <laughs> Much 
Good job, guys. So if your weight is particularly light and you're finding it easy, go slower on the way down. Make it a little bit harder. See the one that's going around um, Facebook, you know? And, like, someone got set up and they were like, what's, what's happening down there? And it's in Park or something. He's like, oh, it's a uh, corner, blah, blah, blah. Nothing much happening here. Yeah. And then um, he's like, oh, my record, it says someone's been set up. Huh? No, no, no. And he's like, yeah, so and so and so and so. Oh! I thought you just went off for a drink. <laughs> or substitute or something. <laughs> They're all like, oh, red card, mate. Like, oh. They're like, what game are you watching? I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> Good job, guys. Try and keep that chest up on your uh, crab box. Make your glutes do the work. Why is he double banned? Big deal. Good effort, guys. So we've come up for nine minutes gone. Plenty of time. Wow, I 
Nice work, team. So 11 minutes gone, five minutes to go. So you guys are into your third round. Sweet. Good job, guys. Good control. Good job, guys. Keep driving the knees out. Lovely job. If you guys are finished, take a minute, chill. You'll just need your weight for the next part. You won't need your band. No, we did not know that. Your locker key. Sumo squats, deadlifts, and Cossacks with your weight. B. Okay, guys, since we're all finished, let's talk through part two, part B. This is just going to be three rounds, and it's just going to be as fast as you can. So just a little bit more movement in this one. High reps as well. So you're going to start with 20 sumo squats. 
So holding your weight up by your chest, your feet are gonna be quite wide, so much wider than shoulder width, hip width, a little bit wider than that, okay? Not as wide as your Cossack squat, okay, for your sumo. And all you're gonna do is sit down, pushing your knees out. Now, in a wider foot position, it's harder to get your knees out through hip flexibility, so make sure that when you squat, you still manage to maintain your back position. And if you look in front, you still manage to make your knees go out further than your toes. What you don't want is your knees on the inside of your toes. So make sure that they go out, okay, for your sumo squat. You will not go below parallel on these. I mean, unless you've got exceptional hip mobility, you won't go below parallel. So 20 sumo squats with your weight. Then you're gonna do 20 conventional deadlift. So feet under the hip, standing all the way up, squeeze your glutes and then back down to touch the floor. You'll be using your glutes and your hamstrings. This one's a little bit different. You might have your feet under your uh, shoulder width rather than just your hips so that you can touch the ground. 20 of those. If you do have any issues with your back, just go like what we did to stiff leg deadlift, just below your knee rather than all the way to the floor. Okay, 20 of those. Then you're gonna do 20 Cossacks. So weight up by the chest, a nice wide feet, wider than the sumo, and you'll lean over to one side, one straight leg, one knee bent. So you're gonna do 20 reps. So you can just go one, two, three, four, either way, or if you want, you can do 10 on the left and 10 on the right. Either is fine. So 20 sumo squats, 20 deadlifts, and 20 Cossacks, three rounds. Take a little minute to practice those if you wanna try them out, and then we'll start. You're too skinny for that. Too skinny to be a sumo. You've probably got 100 kilos. Yeah. How much time, 12 minutes? Okay. Yeah. Okay, no, okay, team. Any questions? Nope. Love it. Here we go. 20 sumo squats. 10 seconds. So again, this is three rounds. Three, two, one. Let's go. 20 sumo squats. Then 20 deadlifts. Way across that. Chill it. Do you some playing as well? No. I thought we were going to No, what are you doing? I'm just a bit Why is he? How are you doing that? How are you getting below parallel in a similar position? That's insane. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just does. That's exceptional hip mobility. Why has he got a cracker of a squat? Well, no, I know he's got an amazing squat, but really wide hip. It's a yeah. different ball game. He's had kids, hasn't he? He's <laughs> got two kids. He's had two kids. He's <laughs> got hip mobility. He's got hip mobility. <laughs> <laughs> that good? He goes so wide as well. Can't do it. I could do it. That's not my Wisings. It's better than Wisings. <laughs> That's not my Wisings. I just used to do this one. Remember how you used this one? It's just more your body, though. I was like, what's that? It's a squat, but it's not. It's That's my squat. That's not a squat. At least it's not that. Not that. Put that aside. Good job, guys. So 10 Cossacks on each leg. Then straight back into your 20 squatterinis. 
Okay, is your body written off? <laughs> it's like... Power nap might be on the cars today, though. Just saying. Just let you guys know. <laughs> Good cheeky power nap. Then I'll be fresher than fresh for the half set. I'm going to get bumbled off. I'm going to switch back. Look at them smart. Small one. It's a half. I'll do it. Smart. I'll do it. 50 push ups, 50 pull ups, 215. Uh, no, 100 push ups. 50 pull ups, 100 push ups. Yeah. Smart. 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 Yeah. Copenhagen, thanks. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. It's supposed to be a lovely thing. I like a Finnish one. I don't know if you're Denmark. I've never been to Denmark. Things will never be the same. Hey, sort team. Is that done, Sarah? Smash it. Good job, team. Let's go. Want to start a podcast? It's everyone in a dog star. <laughs> good effort, team. Good movement. Smashing it. Nice work, team. Five and a half minutes gone. And 
it's like. That ain't no white cars, though. Huh? It's like white cars, are they? I like white cars. I had a white car. Video, a white Jeep Wrangler. Good effort, guys. Nice, uh, seven and a half minutes. Smash the dude. Ruby's just on the corner of the car boat. She's like, come on. <laughs> she looks so much more lively now. <laughs> like she's actually a dog. She's mental. Mental. now. You're mental. Is she less shy? Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to run away. That's not good. I'm like, I love you. I feed you. <laughs> yeah. Little shit. Yeah. How long will you have her for? Um, for, uh, I don't know. Forever. <laughs> it's looking a bit like forever. Yeah. How old is she? Her raincoat. Craig's really chuffed about it. I'll show you a picture. Really? <laughs> Who's got a massage gun? Smashed her. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. Why did you do that to her? She loves it. You know what? No one Marv was a puppy. You could put a raincoat on him and he'd just go outside in his raincoat. But see, when he got to like six, seven, he was like an old man. And if you put one on him, he'd just be like, I'm not moving. Like, I'm going nowhere. He had, a, he had a tweed jacket for him. He was like, nah. Yeah. Off of me well, right now. He liked <laughs> it to begin with. The tweed jacket was like, it was his thing, wasn't it? He was such a formal gent. Gentleman. He wore a bow tie, he bow wore tie. a tweed. <laughs> yeah, when he got old, he was like, nah, this isn't for me. Yeah. Right, awesome effort. So tonight we have half six class. We have yoga with Evie at half seven. So if you guys are bored or stiff, half seven is the place to be. Yeah. Um, tomorrow is just a sweaty, it's basically an at-home Cindy. Term and arm wrap. 5, 10, 15. I'm not telling you what we're substituting the fire for. Uh oh. It wasn't be a pistol then because you've got two legs, so. That's it's not a pistol. It's not a pistol. It's not a pistol and it's not a push up. It's not a pistol <laughs> and it's not a push up. So there you go. I'll leave it at that. However, it is only five reps. It'll be fine. Okay, team. Have an awesome day. If you're in tonight, we'll see you tonight. If not, we'll see you in the next one. Um, see you later. Why is he? What is um, it? What? Um, what's happened to the straight away lockdown t-shirts, Matt? I've got them here. Got them here so you can either collect it.